Imagine this, your gas tank automatically filled up while you're just paused in a drive through lane. We're getting a first glimpse as Ripta gets ready to charge up electric buses. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joins us live from Cranston with those details. Well, Kate, local leaders that spoke here at this event today said that this was an exciting step forward, one that's good for all Rhode Islanders, furthering the state's commitment toward cleaner air quality and sustainable energy. So Governor Dan McKee joining Senators Jack Reed and Sheldon Whitehouse, as well as the mayors of Providence and Cranston and state transportation leaders in breaking ground here on Rhode Island's first electric bus inline charging station. It'll be located here on Montgomery Avenue, right on the Providence Cranston line. And when completed, it'll be able to charge three electric buses simultaneously. Now, the station is located along Ripta's R line, which connects Providence and Pawtucket. It's Ripta's most frequent route and one that has the highest ridership. The areas served by the R line have some of the highest poverty rates and highest asthma rates. This is a big win for the passengers of Ripta, meaning that 20% of all of our riders will be served by electric buses starting next year. An avid Asian tells me that this new charging station is scheduled to be up and running by the end of this year. Live on the Providence Cranston line, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.